Ja. Mijn naam is uh, Georgette uh, Blené en ik was uh, six and a half years old when the war started and uh, we uh, stop it. What's this right here? This is a bunker and when we were uh, little girls, my two older brothers came here and they uh, were trying to say hello, supposedly, uh, to the German. And my uh, two brothers forced me to say cartoffel for potato, to bake for uh, also bread, which is bread. And uh, I do remember playing in, the, uh, in those bunkers and uh, the Germans were friendly enough to uh, just talk to us and uh, as best as they could in German, I guess. Uh, now we are going to enter the bunker and I'm going to tell you more about uh, the war. Here we go. And here is the big gun. That was the American came here to uh, destroy the bunker the bunkers, there is few of them here, and it's facing the sea. The German was trying to bomb and uh, to uh, kill the uh, Americans, so the, uh, this is not far away from the uh, San Ferreguis or Omaha Beach. Okay, now uh, I suppose I have to take you, tell you more about my story. For D-Day, 1944. That's the ocean there. That's the English Channel. Out in the distance is the English Channel, huh? Right. So, what happened on D-Day, June 6th? This is the big gun that the Americans were coming after, huh? Yeah. Yes. What happened? So, on D-Day, we were waking up during the night and the sky was red all over, so red, it was full of uh, airplanes and the, uh, I do remember that I uh, was looking at the stars, and I could, the stars and I couldn't believe uh, how red the, the sky was. It was not even uh, dark and uh, we, we saw from uh, coming down the uh, sky some aluminum, uh, kind of uh, uh, shrapnel? Shrapnel. No, not shrapnel. Uh, aluminum, because they said they did that to, uh, for the radar. So for, for radar? And this was around 2 o'clock in the morning or something? Was, uh, during the night. Uh, I do not remember exactly the time, but it was very early morning. And my mother took us a uh, uh, wake us up and uh, quick uh, put our clothes on and she said, oh, we have to get out, we have to get out. And she took us to a little shed in the uh, yard, and but the shed was made out of uh, wood. And uh, the, the bombs were falling all over the place and the, the bomb, uh, how do you call that, the, they were coming down through the wood in a shed. So my mother said, no, we cannot stay here, it's too dangerous. Let's go uh, down, further down. And when we went further down, we end up in the uh, fossé. What is a fossé in French, in English? A ditch. A ditch. So my mother dis and my father decided to uh, sit down in a ditch where it was further from the road too and from the farm where we were born. And your father had a potato field not too far from here, yeah, right? my father had a potato field and a leek. He was growing leeks too. Uh, kilometers from here, from the beach. And your village, uh, Tracy sur Mer? Tracy sur Mer is just... Uh, five kilometers? Five kilometers mm -hmm. from here, but uh, here by the beach. So you could even see... Uh, the potato field from here. I, and I, I and those, that. those are a whole row of bunkers right there with also cannons. Right. Now, what happened to your horses and animals? Well, uh, then that came later on. We were in a ditch uh, setting down the uh, all night 
and my father I had a, and my mother told my two older brothers to go to the house to get uh, blankets and uh, you know to stay all down for the night. So my two brothers came back, nothing was wrong, and they, uh, we stayed in a ditch for three days, I suppose, and they, uh, I do not remember being uh, scared, but I do remember a lot of noise and a lot of the uh, hole in the fields and the, uh, the cows were not happy, I do remember that too. And also our uh, horse, Fauvet, our little uh, big horse that uh, my mother used to take to to go to the next door uh, neighbors and also to the next city to sell the uh, veg vegetables. And the, the uh, German, the horse, Fauvet, when she would see a gendarme unif uh, German uniform, she would stop right there and, you know, wait for the, for the uh, soldiers, the, the uh, German, to see what was inside the uh, charrette. Now, on D-Day, was the horse killed? No, the horse was never killed. It ran away in the field? Uh, no, only the cow ran away, the cows, and also the... Uh, our nice little pig. We had a pig named, named uh, what, Sylvie, was it? <laughs> I can't remember the name now. Sylvie. Sylvie. And Sylvie the pig? Sylvie the pig. And the pig, we really loved that pig. It was chained uh, He up? was chained to a tree, and uh, my mother made sure that she was chained, so like that she would be safe for now. And the uh, next morning when we came back, we found the chain uh, on the tree, but no pigs. The pig had gone. And we were all crying, us little kids crying because the pig was gone. And so finally we found her in the next field having a good old time because uh, she was free. So, uh, oh, and the Nazis didn't eat your pig? No, the pig didn't. But uh, I do remember seeing the... Uh, Nazi soldier in a field and he was going to kill my mother. He was going to kill my mother. I couldn't believe it. And uh, he was, his eyes were wild and uh, my mother was scared and he said, don't, don't kill, don't kill. We are uh, civilians. Like we cannot do anything, uh, harm you or anything like that. And, but that was next morning. When the, when the sun was high and the, uh, we, we keep on hearing the uh, cannon from the, the sea and it was still a, uh, you know, a lot of noise and, a, uh, and uh, my mother made sure that my two older brothers went to the farm a few yards away to get some food and when they came back they were so anxious to tell my mother, 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 there is no more farm, no, everything is gone and everything is destroyed and we couldn't find the milk neither, we couldn't find anything. What was left of the house? The house was just a pile just a, of debris and the, the okay. only thing left was the... Uh, the staircase? The uh, staircase. I remember going up the staircase with my older brother and he was showing it to me that underneath where the pig was supposed to be was underneath. So, uh, there were no clothes left? No food? No. My mother said she had a big French armoire and even that she couldn't find. She couldn't even find some clothes for us to change. And uh, uh, can you stop? Well, wait a minute. I have another question. I can't stop yet. Why did they bomb your house? What was the because airplanes? Because our house was uh, right in the border of the road going to Bayeux. And the, uh, it was an escape road to go oh. back to uh, Caen and uh, Paris. So, so when, the, when the Germans or the Nazis saw the Armada coming across the English Channel there yeah. with all the boats and everything, they then... After the cannons and everything were, were ruined here, 
They went on your road to your house, so they... The Not to my house, on the road near my oh, house okay. to the city of Bayeux and Caen. And, and the Caen. airplanes weren't very accurate, neither, I understand no, it. Uh, so uh, we think that uh, during the uh, six day, six... Six of June. Six of June, then the uh, the house was destroyed by all the airplanes that were going over Normandy and trying to clear up uh, the territory from uh, the German who were escaping back to, to Germany. Okay, well, then that'll be the end of Chapter 2, What Happened on D-Day Morning.